This video is brought to you by Hit Point Press and their deck of mini animated spell cards on sale now. Hello and welcome to the Gallant Goblin. Today we've got the next Epic Encounters boss box from our friends at Steamforge Games. And many thanks to them for sending it to us to review. This is the Web of the Spider Tyrant. This box promises to give us everything we need to run a big boss battle with a giant spider. And I really should, should have known this was coming. Giant spiders are a staple of D&D. Have you ever played in a long-term campaign that didn't involve making your way through a web-filled cavern with at least one big confrontation with an unreasonably large arachnid? These boss boxes usually offer me at least two things that I adore, though. The giant, super detailed mini itself and the guide booklet, which helps me improve my encounters by expanding on the rules and abilities that are standard for 5e. So let's see what Web of the Spider Tyrant has to offer us. Opening up the box, we see our 30-ish page guidebook, a set of tokens including 10 Crystal Mine Goblins, 2 Crystal Mine Goblin Witches, 1 Drip Fang Spider Swarm, and 1 Web Trap. Very useful if you don't buy the minion box. There's instructions for putting the Spider Mini on its base, a double-sided map, and the Mini and its base. Let's take a look at the Spider Mini. As always, with the Epic Encounter boss boxes, the book focuses less on a specific story for the boss and more how to run an engaging encounter with one. If you pick up the associated minion box, Labyrinth of the Goblin Czar, you'll get a full story and adventure that you can run to lead up to this boss encounter. This book will give you lots of lore, such as how it communicates with minions, how it reproduces produces using egg sacs on its body, which you can see here, how it catches and eats prey, and its history in the world. And if you prefer to use just the spider tyrant in one of your ongoing campaigns, there's a variety of plot hooks available for you to help you slot it in to make your own little side quest. And the plot hooks give you options for both low-level adventures, like a creature in the whispering darkness bossing around a tribe of kobolds, up to higher-level threats, like an impending apocalypse caused by an awakening spider god. And to help you with that, the book gives you multiple stat blocks that you can use with this mini, a CR6 Spider Tyrant Webkin, a CR13 Spider Tyrant Vilekin, and a big old CR18 Spider Tyrant Godkin. So wherever you are with your various campaigns, you can slot this creature in and make it work. This creature does come unattached from its 4-inch base. Putting it together is a simple matter of just pushing it into the slot. Having it in two pieces does help keep the box smaller and should make painting easier too. There are instructions that we saw earlier on how to use the hot water trick to get a better fit if you need to, but I didn't have any trouble just slotting it in. One nifty thing about the base is that it can actually hold about three medium-sized minis. This can be handy when the spider tyrant bites an unfortunate hero and uses its a perfect mummy cinematic action and begins to bind it up with webbing, carrying it off to eat later. You may want to have a little bit of twine or tissue at the table to wrap up the mini since your players won't be needing it anymore. Now, what makes this particular boss encounter even more interesting and unique is the location of the battle. The double-sided 23-inch by 16-inch map features two different configurations of a spider's web spanning across a deep, dark ravine. And of course, Richard August and his team give you all sorts of mechanical flourishes that you can use to simulate a battle on a spider's web. There are some solid rock cliff faces that you can stand on if you're not the most poised character on the planet, but if you venture out out into the webbing, you have to contend with getting stuck on it, dealing with the buffeting winds, resisting the urge to panic from fear, shaking the web, making it unstable for everyone, and discovering what horrors await inside those little silken bundles scattered across the map. The two sides of the map offer the same basic features, just in different configurations, so you can mix it up if you play through it again. If you do pick up Labyrinth of the Goblin Czar, here's what all the minis look like together. The Spider Tyrant, like all the epic encounter bosses, does summon minions to aid them. You can use the minis if you have them, or the included tokens if you don't. And here's how our Spider Tyrant compares to the other epic encounter bosses that we've had so far. Which one is your favorite? Finally, we have the booklet. Giant spider fights are ubiquitous in TTRPGs. If you've been playing for any length of time, you've had to fight giant spiders. There's more than one in the D&D starter set, Lost Mine of Fandelver, and giant spiders are the second encounter you have in the Pathfinder beginner box. They're in Rick and Morty, Dungeon of the Mad Mage, Out of the Abyss, so many different adventures. And these fights can get very samey. 
players generally know exactly what to expect from a spider fight, which means that you need to work extra hard to upend their expectations, and that's what this book helps you do. It takes what can be a mundane, well-trod battle and helps you insert unexpected abilities, moments, and drama to take the experience from mundane to thrilling. It's chock full of new abilities, layer actions, terrain effects, and cinematic moments to help you with all your spider fights. If your gaming group is approaching a spider fight in their campaign, read through this booklet and pull some ideas from it. That's what these boxes are for, and they're great at what they do. I always like to ask what other creatures you'd like to see get the Epic Encounters treatment. What are some creatures or bosses that are most maybe almost trite to use in combat these days. What needs that injection of fun again? For minions, maybe I'd like to see trolls, Sahuagin, uh, demons, skeletons, lizard folk, troglodytes, and God help me, gnolls. For bosses, maybe, um, maybe a giant worm, uh, a dinosaur like a T-Rex, an abolith, a manticore, a chimera, or maybe even another type of giant, like the fire or hill giant. Let me know your ideas, though, in the comment section down below. Epic Encounters Web of the Spider Tyrant lands on September 30th, 2021 for an MSRP of $44.95. I wasn't able to find any teasers for what the next Epic Encounter box might be, and my buddy at Steamforge Games is on vacation right now, and I shamelessly begged him for a hint at what's to come, so if I hear anything back when he gets back from vacation, I'll post it on Twitter and Discord. One thing I do know is that you need to be checking out the animated spell cards by the deck of many if you haven't already. You can get the decks individually, of course, if you want to just get some sample cantrips or something, or if you really like fourth level spells or something. But if you want to get a little deeper, they have discounts on bundles right now that you should check out. You can get animated spell reference cards with all the spell details you need on one side and some eye-catching animations on the other for spells of all levels now. And they have two in-game magical items that you can give to your players, the Deck of Many Things and the Deck of Illusions, both in animated format. Actually, if you've used the Deck of Many cards cards for either one of those magical items, please let me know about it in the comment section down below. Seriously though, check out all the details at animatedspells.com. And thank you for watching today. Speaking of Steamforce games, tomorrow we're going to be filming one of our first actual play games in our new studio to share with you, and I'm playing the Animal Adventures RPG starter set here with four of my best friends. I can't wait for you to see it. To be one of the first, go follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash thegallantgoblin and be sure you're subscribed here on YouTube as well. And if you'd be interested in a podcast feed of our playthroughs, let me know. It's been something I've been thinking about lately. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. For now, though, stay safe, have fun, love each other, and I'll see you next time at the Gallant Goblin. Goblin.